All right, got my PC boards. Thanks to PCBWay for supplying free PC boards. Unfortunately, they're no longer free um, because you have to pay tariffs on things from China. So even though uh, they do give me boards for free and they ship them to me for free, when they enter the continental United States, the carrier and the importer, me, I'm the importer, have to pay tariffs, right? So DHL will not deliver this package to me until I pay my tariffs. And guess what? 185% tariffs, 185%. PC boards that should have been, uh, see, I got, a, I got PC boards and um, a stencil, which would be $5 and $10, $15. Now cost me, the $15 that you would normally pay, the shipping you would normally pay, plus I have to pay 182% on top of these. So I paid $26 tariffs on top of everything else. I had to pay $26 to get these into the United States. Um, now in the future, there's no way I'm gonna buy a $100 PC board, even if they give it to me for free. Okay, even though PC, PCBWay has been so generous in the past to give me anything I want. So let's say I, I get a nice gold plated board and it's $100. It's going to cost me $150 tariffs. I, I can't afford that. So I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. Anyway, that's my rant. That is my rant. Uh, see? see? Paid. You have to service alert. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. What is the government? Ah, whatever. And there's no alternative. There's, there's no way to get boards in the United States. Nope. It would cost way too much money. Way too much money. Okay, here we go. Enough ranting. Let's play with some electronics. Uh, yeah, there's MSI, MSI Dog and his 8080 computer. Really, really cute. He's cute. All right. So what do these boards do? These boards are going to go in this machine here. And this is going to, the little thing here is going to go on like a so. And then that will go right here like that. And then the front, the little um, LC display We'll poke through. We'll f figure some way out. Figure some way to mount this. Might just be hot, hot melt glue or something. Um, but yeah, that's going to work out great. So let's um, let's get these built up. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the solder stencil. Oops! Let's cut my finger open. That's what I need to do today. Oh, all right. This is like, this is like a really dumb stencil. Certainly in the future, I'm not going to be buying stencils because unless they're real complicated because it's going to cost me too much money. I said I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to complain anymore. I'm not going to complain anymore. What I need is a friend in Europe, ship these to him, and then he mails them to me for free. I don't know if you can do that. There's got to be uh, some ranting again. I'm sorry. I'm ranting. I'm ranting. There's got to be workarounds in this system. There's got to be. Companies will go out of oh, ranting again. Companies are going to go out of business really, really quick. All right. Um, so let's get this built up. Let's. Let's stack some boards around it so we can do our solder stencil thing. We'll do that. We'll tape these down. We'll put the stencil on top. And uh, yeah, that should, that should work out good. Let me get some tape. I've got to roll this masking tape that I hate, but I just want to get rid of it. I'm going to use it. Whoa, something fell behind me. Either that it was a ghost. It might have been a ghost. Am 
All right. Yeah, I hate this stuff. Hate this stuff. Okay, let's put this one down. All right. And the bottom one. All right, let's put the stencil. Stencil goes right about there. Super, super simple. I'm worried about um, some uh, test equipment uh, that's coming in for a review. Whether or not it's going to be hit with a tariff or not, because then I think I'm going to have to I think I'm going to have to decline delivery. Um, yeah. I don't know. Cross that bridge. Cross that bridge when it comes. Okay, let's get some solder paste. It's nice and warm in the garage, so the solder paste comes out real easy. <laughs> That's nice. Usually it's cold in the garage, and um, I have to let it warm up for a second before it works good. Okay, let's get out a squeegee, squeegee tool. I gotta move you guys for a second. Okay, I got my cool squeegee tool here. Um, think. That is all I need. A little dab will do you. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Take that one out right there. All right. Put some parts on it, and we'll be good to go. Uh, let's see, do I need to look at the schematic? No. Bypass caps, uh, pull-ups for the I2C, and a uh, microprocessor. So, no need to go check. I know what they all are. Okay, let's clean this. Let's clean this stencil off. And put it in storage. I keep all my Spare boards and stencils and stuff in one place. I can get back to them. I'm going to be using my uh, real nice microscope, Switz Switzerland, Switzerland, and we will try to put some parts on here. Let's see. Put that one uh, here. And I'm putting on the bypass caps. And some resistors. I know that the uh, little OLED display has its own pull-ups, but I'm putting on some extra ones here just for safekeeping. So I'm, you need a total of 4.7, and I'm putting in some 11Ks here just because I don't know, just because. I feel good, feel good having the extra ones in there. And we'll put that one over there. Now all we have to do is figure out where pin one is. It's down this away. Okay, there's pin one. I'm putting in a 3224 microprocessor. Itty tiny. Okay. That looks pretty good. Pop this in the oven. Yep, let's pop it in the oven and see what happens. I kind of moved move over a little bit there. Everybody's pushed down on the board so they don't fly up. Okay, everything looks good. All right, uh, so I have the little board built up and uh, I have, uh, you want to see the backside? 
Uh, got the cable on there. I have put in some software that I've written uh, blind, uh, but I think it should do at least something. We'll put this in here. Put this in here, something like this. Let me prop it up a bit. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh, there it goes. Can you see that? I'll screw him, side guy. And then uh, oh, I think the camera is really freaking out about this refresh rate. Let's see here. Let's. Uh, huh. I don't know if I can f fix that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let me uh, turn the room lights off. That might help the brightness. Can you now see it? So it says microamps, and now we turn the knob. It says um, milliamps, microamps, and nanoamps. And then it should do different things on the times 20, times, times 200, times 20, and times 2. So times 2, we're getting a number out times 20 numbers too big. So I have to figure out on what voltages we get out and how to scale it and everything. But I think I'm encouraged. I think I am encouraged. All right, turn the power off here. So I think um, we'll end the video here and I'll work on, uh, I'll work on the uh, software and see if I can't get this thing, can't get this thing going.